I'm seeing the market quite segregated at the moment, Fiona. So it seems at one million eight hundred eighty thousand, the springtime stock. Third and final call has come a little later than usual. Prestige Properties, probably the six million and above. I'm selling it at one million eight hundred and sixty-five thousand. And the lower northern beach is still very strong. Very quiet this end. Uh, look, we have just come off the school holidays, so that is typically uh, a quieter time. I did two today. Uh, the first one was free flowing and just went gangbusters from the very start. This one. Are you sure at the back? We had about eight register and then probably three or four or five did bid. The middle part of the market is a little bit softer because people are finding the cost of living is hurting. It took a little bit more effort and work. The bidders were a bit reticent to, to jump in. There's a lot of belt tightening there. As of this Thursday, we saw a lot more stock coming to market. Today, I've got a full schedule. Ladies and gentlemen. And the result was stronger than the owners had hoped for. Sold. Thank you very much. Back to back inspections, half of which are off market, a couple of auctions to go to. There's lots of young families, so yeah. the, the market up to three million is really, really busy at the moment. There's disappointment after a day like today because only one person can actually win. There are still a lot of buyers out and about. It's going to be a fairly short, sharp selling season uh, at the start of the year. It's nice to see more stock is coming on. People we're speaking to are getting their properties ready for 2024. Um, and some of them thought they'd be selling in 2023 and it's just taking a bit longer to get trades and, mm. and, and get the homes uh, spick and span to make sure their presentation's 100%. So we'd expect yeah. so before Easter. Yeah. So I expect more properties for sale in January rather than starting in February.